Hello everybody and welcome. I am the Beta Plan and this is Vampir. You may notice that we are in a slightly different area. This is actually but a side alley from where we just were in the last episode. But I'm only here because I heard these guys. And I thought, I'm sure you would like me to have some combat for you in this episode. The problem is, this guy sees me, but there's also a guy there on... You may notice on the far right of me here that I would have loved to be able to stun, but unfortunately, no, you don't. Let me just target you then. Nope. There we go. Done. Starting off the episode a little bit different than the last one. Let, let's have a little bit more action, shall we? Uh, yeah, there is something to steal here. Good. And I also had hoped that some of these r ramparts up here would lead me to a safe house. I can look in here. Whoa! No! Oh no, oh, that is, this is bad. I don't like you at all. I have faded myself into the wrong area. Uh, could I uncue you, please? Thank you. Ooh. Ooh, uh, uh, now I queued and now I can't, thank you. Q. Uh, when did I take that damage? Ugh. Cheesy tactics are cheesy, but... <sighs> does this work better? Yes, it does. But bullets are so expensive! It's such a rare commodity! Oh, and he does so much damage to me. I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Mm. Oh, the fact that you can't. It's just so annoying. I hate to use... <laughs> but it just makes so much sense. Stun him. Uh, I think I may have just used one too many. He had me once. He uses me twice. I win. But with a little bit of cheese, I have to admit. I just don't like fighting these big guys in a small alleyway. But I'm, I'm I definitely will use some ammo out against him, but my gun didn't do as much damage as I would ho hope for it to do. After all, it is weak against guns, or at least doesn't have resistance against it. But that didn't help me enough to fight over there. So what do I gain out of this? Did I just kill a guy for just killing him, or...? Uh, no, we did actually gain access to an area. This could be the box Lewis thought he lost. There's a letter inside. Interesting. Uh, click too slow on the box, but uh, yeah, there was text, spoken lines, so I didn't want to interrupt it. Barrett, there's no easy way to say it, so I'm going to be blunt. We can't keep on like this. At least I can't keep on like this. If Joe ever finds out about us, about his wife and his best friend, it will crush him. And then he will kill you. We have some. We had some good time together, but let's face it, I've never gone to be your Jane Lewis. You know it, and I know it too. So I'm ending this, right here and right now. If you agree with my decision, I'm sure we'll find a way to be happy again, Joe. Happy again, you, Joe, and me in time. And then the most important part of our story will have been preserved. Until that day, I wish you forgive me. Goodbye for now, Jane Peterson. Oh, snap! 
Joe Peterson's wife addressed to Barrett Lewis. Who should I give it to, I wonder? If Joe finds out, he's going to kill him. He, a used hatchet. And... I... Can't target him. No! What in the world? Of course I didn't want to fade down there. What in the bloody blazes, man? I don't like fighting these creatures at the best of times. And then I had... Advantage of terrain? And then you do this to me. Ah, trying to get out. Try... Stuck on, stuck on terrain! Stuck on terrain! Oh! No, I'm dead probably now. Will you not let me get stuck on terrain? Please, I'm begging you! Hoping that the back does more damage, but I can't be sure of that. Ugh, we won, but dang! I got stuck on this little bit of... Little, little bitty piece of coal. That was annoying as hell. <sighs> well. We won. Getting better. There's probably some... Uh, I'll, I'll check it out. I mean, I did go in here for some more combat. This one's mine! He says, when I did, I can't fade up anymore. Oh, great. This is... These are way too many enemies. I can't see anything. Oh, the cloud. I don't know where it will save, but... Ah, uh, again, it's free people, I'm boxed in, in an area, and then I can't really fight well, because I get, keep getting stuck when I try to, to evade, to, to fade out. I just get stuck on the bloody coal heap. Am I really back all the way here? Don't tell me that is true. Well, I'm going to find out if I still have the box. Why did I do that? Uh, why did I waste bullets? <sighs> that was such a shame. I should have just run away when I had the chance. But I didn't. Because I didn't want to be a pussy. Oh, uh, this is gone. I think it doesn't reset, but... There you go! Oh, come on. I pressed just off, apparently. There we go. There we go. Kicked him, there arses. And this is then probably the front door entry, so, so to speak. But we do have, still have some goodies over here, so we should look into this area and just have some fun with it. I mean, I had a talk video last episode. Already, yeah, why does the queue then bring me all the... I want to queue the guy that's right in front of me. Queue him. Thank you. And yes, I want my revenge on these guys. And you are my main target. 
because you, good sir, have a nasty gas that really amps me up. Nope. I want to get out of this gas. Alright. I don't have a little blood left. That is true. There we go. But this time we took revenge. Funneled them into a small little area for a moment so the blood spear could hit two people at the same time. And made mm, gladly use of that. Now we have still... A big guy to contend with, but I wonder if there's something back here as well that's interesting. Well, quite possibly. We have you. We have you. Rich, watery, rich blood sample. Okay. Oh, I don't want to walk too far before they respawn. Because that would kind of suck. Uh, but that's apparently another way into it. And then I assume that you are back as well. Yeah. What? Oh, because I didn't queue him. Great. Well, one of my major abilities just failed. And then I got... And that happened. These guys still are uh, more scary to me than some of these Fritman officers who have quite um, some nasty abilities as well. Oh, darn it. He still hit me. Um, we both have now some pathing issues. There we go. Took you down, but I am losing more blood. No, no, I am gaining just a wee little bit of blood. Not much, but a wee little bit of it. I do gain. So, just to be sure, we already had this box, but voila. Done, yes. And now we cleared out the entire area. Don't I, they may re -re respawn if you leave it. Don't know, but... We've done enough time here now, we have a few minutes of combat, had some fun here. Back to the main quest line. And we should really think about who we're going to give. working for his son and I don't know if I should give him the love letters so he would feel less bad about doing criminal activity to the other guy but uh, the other one is uh, love kind of a, actually a difficult decision here Mr. Petrescu just one minute please you again go away sir wait stop this nonsense I know Nurse Crane is here Shall we speak man to man, you and I? <laughs> All right. Speak up. Don't you see we're on the same side? We fight to help the poor, sick, and abandoned. I'm nothing like you, Mr. Totter. Yes, you are. You too believe in providing medical care without charge. You know what we have to sacrifice to make the world a better place. I have to admit your words have conviction. All right, I'll let you see Dorothea. Don't make me regret this, though. Not intending to do so, per se, Mr. Darius Petrescu. I am going to raid your house, though, for being an unwelcoming host. The antique figure of Vricolakas. 
Of my many journeys, I believe I was the most amazed by my exploration of the Mediterranean Isles, and particularly the island of Santorini, searching for traces of vampire presence in their sunburned lands. Herodotus himself refers to the island on his in his fourth book, and I am personally convinced that there are many mysteries to be unveiled in this part of the world. Who knows that, even today, the island of Santorini is still considered by some as the most vampire-invested place in the world, way more than the Carpathians, and that its inhabitants are considered as specialists of the vampire hunt, or the hunt for Vricolacas, as they call this creature. According to local myths, the Vricolacas is a dead person who does not decay and who can show a vermilion, vermilion complexion as long as he is gorged with fresh blood. He cannot enter a house without knocking and getting a response. Garlic makes him flee. He does not consume under the sun, but his skin blackens. He can change into a wolf and other animals. What struck me the most is that the same name exists with small variations from Mediterranean Sea to the Balkans. The Re Greeks call him the Vrikolakas. The Bulgarians and the Macedonians name him Varskalak or Vaskalas. The Serbians call him Vuk Vukotlak. We've seen that term before. Yes, Vukotlak, a name so similar to the Vukot we already know, my dear brothers. Just to write these few words now give me shivers. I'm personally convinced that we are here confronted with some of the proto-vampire. Maybe they are missing a link between the modern vampires and the creatures they came before them. If God allows me enough time, I wish one day to go be back to Santorini Island and find a trail of this antique and forgotten figure from drinking at the Fountain of Lodge by Usher Taltry, primate of St. Paul. Why is this in your house? That just scares the heck out of me. He locked. It's locked. How do I open locked things again? It's locked, all right. Oh. First, however, I think it is time that we had a conversation, Mr. Darius Petrescu. If you want to talk to Torret there, you must go across the courtyard and take the stairs. We've not been formally introduced. May I ask your name and occupation, sir? I am Darius Petrescu. I'm here to keep snitches and spies away from Dorothea. And I also run this little print shop. So Dorothy's real name is not Crane? Like myself and many people in this area, Dorothea is from occupied Romania. That's all you need to know. She seems important to the community. More than you can imagine. The West End does not want to hear of Whitechapel's misery. Dorothea is one of the few doing something about it. Sorry if you hear that in the background, but my cat is dying for more food, even if he already had food, huh? Tell me everything you know about Camellia, the mute florist. I do not believe in the afterlife, Doctor. But I'm almost convinced Camellia is an angel. She volunteered to give out our medical leaflets. Who is she, really? Do you know where she's from? She's not from around here, that's all we know. Camellia is not even her name. It's her favorite flower. You say she has no close family. Well, there's that awful poet who constantly follows her around like a lost puppy. A good man, for sure, but a very poor writer. Are you not worried for her safety? He is as brave as she is tough, and clever, too. If only I had met her when I was younger. Are you in love with Camellia, Mr. Petrescu? Don't be stupid. If I had met her when I was younger, we could have won our revolution. <laughs> Did you refuse to publish Richard Nethercott's previous works, Darius? Yes. His manuscript is as pompous as he is starched. Now there's a man who loves the sound of his own voice. You could have told him so. As a great writer recently said, politeness is the most acceptable hypocrisy. 
Wait, 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 wait. Why is this not blacked out like this? Is is there more? Tell me everything you know about Camellia, the mute florist. I do not. No, there isn't. Why isn't this then not yet grayed out? That's interesting. Do you have any family left, Mr. Petrescu? Children or grandchildren? Who knows? I have abandoned my people for so long, they might as well be dead. As dead as I am for them, I suppose. Well, you did write a letter. Don't be embarrassed, sir. If you must know, my own father disappeared many years ago, and I forgave him. It's quite awkward to talk about our families like this, but... Thank you, Dr. Reed. I appreciate your trust. This war won't last forever. Did you ever think of returning to your country now it's free? No. I have taught strength and determination to my sons and daughters. I'm an old dying man who only has memories of better times to cherish. How did you meet Nurse Crane, Darius? Why does she trust you? I'm her oldest friend in England. Dorothea and I shared many ideas about this country, and about the country we left. You mean occupied Romania, don't you? Even if not directly, I fought against your enemies. Really? Then perhaps you have more in common with Dorothea than meets the eye, Dr. Reed. Sorry folks, I kind of missed now a sentence because I'm getting super distracted. I'm terribly sorry, I, I'm going to do this once again, but then for my personal pleasure. How did you meet Nurse Crane, Darius? Why does she trust you? I'm her oldest friend in England. Dorothea and I shared many ideas about this country and about the country we left. You mean occupied Romania, don't you? Even if not directly, I fought against your enemies. Really? Then perhaps you have more in common with Dorothea than meets the eye, Dr. Reed. Alright, thank you so much. Uh, once again, it's my cat that is just begging for food and now they're trying to do it together. And it's just way too early for food time. So I'm just getting a little meows around me and, and, and stares and like, I'm so hungry. And I'm like, Alright. I know you fought for your country when it was occupied, Darius. Tell me more about it. I know my days are numbered and I know I won't see my homeland again. But I fought for Romania all my life, and I will until my last breath. But Romania escaped the grasp of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. It's a free country again. It is not the country I fought for. My homeland is not a beast, Doctor. But I still see a dark future ahead for my people. And he's not entirely wrong, because later they would be occupied again. Romania hasn't been that lucky in uh, Goodbye, life, Fisher. so to say. All right, time to find the nurse. And uh, perhaps look around here if there's any goodies. Just checking. Probably this is now unlocked. Yeah, has been unlocked. Goodbye. Because I don't want to go out there yet, but I did want to just make sure I check everything. All right. Oh, hey. Look at that. Red cross on it. Dorothy Crane's Dispensary. Woman looks a little bit awkward with her, her dress pulled up that way. Whoa, this is a large place, man. Oh. Aww. But then again, death is something we will see a lot in this game. I'm taking some of your supplies, nurse. It seems like uh, Nurse Dorothy is in trouble. I'm not. Oh, that is man is still alive. Thought for a moment that he might have been dead as well. There are way more beds than there are ill in this place, though. I have the feeling this one, uh, this place is ill kept. If you put them more apart from one another, you might have less issues with cross contamination and, and stuff like that. 
I have to uh, say, Miss Dorothy. Pushing him down, okay. I need help. He's going into convulsions. All right. Here, Patient Raz Van Vassily, high fever running on three days. Complaints of dizziness, muscle aches, and head pain, diagnosed with influenza. Treatment? Aspirin and Salicin for the fever and discomfort. Liquids for dehydration, but he's having trouble keeping even water down. Thank you, nurse. Anything else I should know? He did lose consciousness this morning, but he's never had convulsions like these. <coughs> he's not convulsing, he's choking. He's not getting any air. Skull, hand me that skull. What can I do, doctor? Uh It's too dangerous to operate with these convulsions. Sedative nurse. Do we have any anesthetics? I'm sorry, doctor, none at all. This is going to be very difficult. I need to perform a tracheostomy. Short pipe. That rubber tube will do. We're going to cut a passage for air through the neck. Yes, Doctor. He's breathing again, but he's coughing up blood. Internal hemorrhaging. I need to make another incision into the chest cavity to drain the fluids from the lung. Prepare another tube. A thoracostomy. Doctor, we've nothing to fight the infection. We need an aseptic environment. Right oh. then, Nurse Crane. What do you suggest we do? I have no idea. I'm not the doctor. Time is of the essence. We need to perform a thoracic drain. Yes, doctor. That's what I wanted to say. Just you have a better idea? No. And go. He's still bleeding, doctor. I'm losing his pulse. The drain must have punctured the intercostal artery. There's too much blood. Are you all right, doctor? Oh, crap. I can't see. Uh... I must... First, suture the artery. Find the wound. The source of the blood. Needle and thread, Doctor. Good. The stitches are holding. How's he doing? We're losing him. We've lost his pulse. He's dying, Doctor. Um. Uh... A dose of epinephrine now. Yes, Doctor. Let's get that heart starting. <laughs> I assume that if you left him alone, you could have drained his blood, but I don't know else what to do. Ah, crap, we lost him. No XP gains. And no savior. I wonder if we could have done that differently, but I don't know. We've lost the pulse. He, he's gone, Doctor. Nurse, we did everything we could. Truly? Everything you could. Is that how you'll report this in your log? Is this how the war went? Piling up one poor corpse beside the next? This was not an influenza-induced seizure. I've never seen symptoms like these on the continent. Neither have I. But the previous symptoms leading up to this attack were the same, indistinguishable from the epidemic. No. There was something more vile in these reactions. Something... primitive. There have been numerous reports of mental breakdowns caused by the fever that accompanies the flu itself, Doctor. Yes, but... I'd best take some samples of the blood for analysis. So if he would have survived, he would have created a scroll then, I, I would assume. A, a zombie-like creature. I wonder if you could have saved him, but... Yeah, epimephrin is in order, I believe, uh, something like... like um, I doubt you're here to test my bedside manners. That's true. But I believe that is uh, something to try and get the heart started. But then again, we operated under horrible conditions. And yes, she... It's locked. She said like, hey, we need a, a, a free environment. Yeah. This is an unfitting place for the illustrious Dr. Reed. You shouldn't uh, be here. 
As you said, we needed a safe place, but we didn't have that, so why do you question me? Do you have suggestions? And no. Um, was getting better with the treatment. I don't understand. It is, uh, but I think he would have died or given a score. And if she would have left me alone, I What's probably would have drank, could have drained his blood. But I don't feel. Uh, but now that we know that this also isn't just a normal human anymore, I think that might have been good if we didn't do that. Well, uh, what do I get stuck on? Let's go. I suspect it was more than intuition alone that led you to us. So. How might I be of service, Dr. Reed? Uh... I've come to put an end to this insufferable blackmailing, Dorothy. Doctor, you think your warnings scare me? I've stolen and plied, blackmailed and lied, but what else am I to do? I'm all these people have. Yeah, but why, though? Because... If you target her, Lady Ashbury, there won't be going as much money to Pembroke Hospital in order to do this. So, indirectly, you're killing in other people around Pembroke Hospital and tr while you're trying to save people here in horrible conditions which probably won't lead to many more lives. I, 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 I understand what you're trying to do, but it's not really far through, in my opinion. But why Lady Ashbury? Why her, of all people? She's pristine and proper, all right. But that she-wolf in sheep's clothing murders the poor for sport. I have her where she belongs, and I'll milk her for all she's got. Kills the poor for sport? Oh, so perhaps not. A, perhaps good that she didn't see who we are. We are, and Doctor Swansea is a sensible and honest man. He wouldn't have refused your friend's care at Pembroke. It's easy for you to say, Doctor. These people cannot go to the police, nor to the hospital. They don't even speak English. They depend on me for everything. Suddenly we would have you there. The end doesn't justify the means. So, the end justifies the means. Is that your defense? I know you're kind, Doctor. Just another fine-heeled, silver-spooned gentleman who was given the world on a platter. You know nothing of poverty. Nothing of the shame, the hunger, the loneliness. I, I, I... You know, in a sense they have a point. But on the other hand, if you keep doing that to people, the bridge will never be gapped. So, sorry, but... You've convinced me of the sincerity of your actions and their noble justifications. But all the same, blackmail is a crime, and it will stop Nurse Crane. So, are you going to turn me over to the authorities? No. Um. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, this requires a hint. Oh, darn, we don't have uh, an embrace would be if we would eat her now. That is, though normally embrace means that you you create a new vampire, but I don't think that's right now. What would this hint be required? What did we miss? But you had noble intentions, so I'm going to go with this one. No. Your place is here. Jailing you would be an even greater crime. So... Here is my proposition. I'll look the other way on your little enterprise. In exchange, you will resign from the Pembroke Hospital and provide me with medical supplies when the need arises. Dr. Reed, that sounds like a business proposition. My accomplice, then. No, just a privileged client. My research may require the occasional rare piece of equipment or ingredient. I'll pay good coin in exchange Fair and honest, to help finance your noble endeavors. We have ourselves a deal, Doctor. Good customers are always welcome. Yes, Nurse Crane. We have a deal. What clue did I miss? And we've unlocked Interview with a Vampire! 
Ah, we have no new hint filled. We filled a hint of Dorothy Frank Crane. Oh dear. What did we fill? It's locked. I cannot enter. What did we feel about Dorothy Crane? I thought I was quite being quite diligent. Uh that's I need the people. Yeah, we 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 lost um a hint regarding her because we didn't embrace. No, because we already lacked a hint to do a certain thing. Hmm. I wonder what we missed. But that's not something I'm going to find out easily. So I I probably need her accomplice and then who are you again? Albert Palmer? What, 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 who are you again? Oh, we haven't even got you located. We just have heard about you then. We missed a hint on her. I feel so weird. We missed a hint on her. But, oh well. Uh, I think the game probably mm, saved, I assume. And I need to travel back... The fuck? Oh, this one stinks already. Why in the heck are they attacking? Nope. And we dodge into him. There we go. Down and out. But here something strange is happening. That the Privens are attacking Dorothy's place. Makes me think something is a foot that I missed. Is she a vampire herself? Is I doubt that because Whoa! Stay away. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to fade in here. Target then him. And then... Uh, oh. Uh. There we go. And boom. Because you were resistant to my melee attacks. And I had enough of you. That was done well, I have say, that combat. I had something to go into. And I feel like I have a lot of XP. I probably can uh, upgrade quite a few things. So I'm gonna go home. And which I would say being Pembroke Hospital in that case. In this, um, in this case. And then I'm going to level up, and I am still wondering where the heck this Benjamin fellow is. That I constantly keep hearing about. This is into the West End, but I need to go to the hospital, so I'm going the wrong way. I need to go... You go kind of up here, if I could, but I don't see that. I heard a shot now. What just happened? Why did I hear a shot? Did did one kill another? I don't know. That's kind of weird. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to the Pembroke Hospital. I'm going to make sure that I um, can level up. And I'll see you when we're going to talk to Lady Ashbury. Because... Um, We've done our quest. We're done. It's over. It's uh, ready to end it. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if anyone knows what the clue was, do let me know. Because I'm curious what I missed. What I what I failed to do. I am going for a pacifist run, of course. Uh, I'm, I'm fully aware that you can play this game way more aggressive. But uh, yeah, I, you know me. I always want to do it a little bit different. And I would like to keep my hide even after the epidemic. And uh, yeah, I have become her accomplice, they said. I didn't want to embrace her, didn't want to 
kill her. I know it would have given me quite some XP to kill her. 2200 XP would be quite a bit extra on top of what I have right now. But uh, yeah, it's, it's the pacifist side in me that's like, uh, or the pacifist playthrough that I'm doing that's uh, causing this. Hey, the wall is gone. That big creature is still there, but I don't see the wall anymore. Or is it more towards this end? Hey. Hello. Did we find... It's locked. Oh, Really? I felt like it could have been a, a place to hide. Oh well. These guys haven't respawned. That wall fellow is gone. Perhaps I should have... Um, gone ahead and uh, human blood whoever left these marks did so deliberately kill it boy whoa okay issue 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 um still uh, there are too many enemies here man uh i'm fading right into a cloud because i can't see behind me due to the way the game mechanics work around combat which still really annoys the heck out of me No, I just want to target the other guy. Please allow me to target the one I want to target. Okay, that's one down. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Thank you. Oh, now it's extra long episode because I need to fight for me life. And I'm certain as hell cannot do repeat this in the next episode. So... There you go. Why are there solo sort of more just on target so that I can freaking dodge where I want to dodge to? Thank you. Ugh. Uh. Target. I have the feeling he is bringing in extra troops. I am out of stamina. Huh. I can't see here if I'm. Uh, you are. You are one of the head bosses, aren't you? Yeah, you're bringing in more guys. Oh. I wanna fade on target. Run. Heal. Walk up here. Oh! Wow, I didn't even see him in the corner. My mistake. Uh, I don't like fire, I can tell you that. You don't need to test. I don't like fire. Yeah, they, they keep spawning new guys. Alright, oh, okay. I understand the fight now. Let's get over here. At least I have here enough area to move. Oh! Wrong key. Hit it! There we go. And... There is this gun. Oh, okay. One more guy to fight. What? I targeted you. At least I had you targeted for a moment ago. Uh. Oh, uh, I, I hear something behind me. Yeah, and I actually could use these little guys because I really need some. 
No, no! Let me... I... There we go. No! Oh, he shot me over the wall. No. On target, on target, so that I can dodge where I want to dodge. Hit the one key. Get me healed up. All right. Now. Get out. And back in. All right. Blood has been taken care of a little bit. You are all the way... Sorry. Such a shame if you lose so much blood by doing that. And there you go. Take that. Untarget. Untarget so that I can move where I want to move. The problem is with this guy, I can't really... I, I can't drain him the way I want to drain him with stuns. That is uh, currently my problem, so to speak. Can I target you? On target. Ooh, uh. And. Do this. Heal up. Get enough blood again for another blood spear, if possible. On target. Ooh. Got rid of you. There you are. I need you for blood. Oh, he can shoot through his own allies. Good to know. Ow. Ow. Because that just Fs me over. Like crazy. Here, if you target, you walk so slowly from one end to another. Sometimes it's just really good to untarget just to be able to dodge. Not using the dodge mechanic, but just to be able to properly dodge. Ugh. Okay, where are you going to come from, your your little minion? Because I need him. Because I need blood. If if I didn't have this pre-order weapon that give, would give me blood, I would have so much more issues with this this game. As in, I would just be too bad to play it. Because I don't have enough stun on these guys. Hmm. What also could be nice is if I could just... Die, I thought I uh, wouldn't be ending this when I killed the bosses. Did I not? I did. It's over! Ladies and gentlemen, it's over. I have killed everything that I need to kill. I'm going to take a rest now. The episode has done way too long. You can see all these people that I've killed here. It finally took down the bosses. But man, that took a moment. I say I thank you for watching. And remember, great peril yields great beauty.